Hi there, welcome to Get Fit with Gosha. And welcome to day 11 of the 21 day fitness challenge. Today, I have a total body weight strength workout for you. It's gonna be a really fun and good workout. It's a little bit longer than 20 minutes. We have to make up the time for yesterday. If you don't mind, it's 28 minutes. We can do this together. You don't need any equipment for this workout. Just grab your water, towel, good music, good attitude, and let's get this workout on the road. We're gonna start with a short warm up. Okay, take a nice deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth as you bend forward at the waist. And do it three more times. Breathe in, lean back a little bit, breathe out. Breathe in, lean back, breathe out, and do this one more time. In and out. And now stay here with your hands on the floor. Open your legs out, grab your elbows, and just hang out here for a little bit. Feel good, feel the nice stretch in the back of the leg. Yesterday's workout was whew, fast and furious, so today we're gonna take things a bit slower. Hold it to one side, and bring it to the other side. Come back to the center, walk your hands forward. I'll give you a side view here, into high plank from here. Go into downward dog 10 times. Two, three, four, five. Five more. Four, three, two, and one more. Now walk your hands back towards your feet and slide your heels together. Let's do 10 froggy squats. Heels are up. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come all the way up. Open up your arms and close. Open, close. So today the intervals are longer. We're going to focus on body weight strength and endurance. And we're going to cover all muscles off your body. Five more. Four, three, two, and one more. Hold your arms up. T kicks for ten. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And let's get started. We have four rounds of exercises and today we are repeating every set twice. Get yourself ready with exercise number one. It's called concentration kicks. So you're gonna bring your leg up. From here, you're gonna kick the leg out. So maintain that knee up. 45 seconds per side. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go. Left. And then at the same time, if you want to, you can add some circles to the front. That way it's a little bit of a brain workout too. Uh, actually, just focus on your leg here. Focus on your balance. Focus on your leg. But if you want to add something extra, then go ahead and add those arm circles. 10 seconds left. And you start to feel the burn here. Shake it out. Three. Other side, same thing. Raise the leg up and let's go. So focus on maintaining your body upright, keeping your shoulders over your hips. If you feel pinching in your hip flexor, just lower your leg down a bit. Okay? And keep going. All the way to the end. Second set, we're going to kick a little bit harder. Three, two, one. And time. Next exercise. 
squats with alternating heel lifts. So between every exercise, we have 10 seconds recovery. All right, let's go down, up. As you're coming down, you lift the heel up. And your toes are slightly pointed out to the side. And then you can add a little bicep curl. And we're here for 45 seconds. And lift. Just go as low as you're able to. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, rest. All right, and last exercise for the first set, pipe push-ups. So you are in a downward dog position. One. Driving the forehead to the floor. Let's go down and up. Keep your knees as straight as you can. Look at your knees. So pipe push-ups, focus on your shoulder strength instead of chest like regular push-ups. Keep going, go as low as you can. Start to feel that a little bit now. All good. Three, two, one. Jump your legs together, stand up. And we're going back to exercise number one. Concentration kicks. Three, two, okay, raise your knees up and then kick. You can hold it onto the wall. Now try to kick a little bit harder. Feel your quad working here. Again, if your hip flexor is burning, lower your leg down a bit. 20 seconds. Feel the leg in all different places now. Kick it out. Two, Other side and let's six, go. Four, right. If you don't need to hold on, don't hold on. Focus on your balance. And keeping your body upright, so keep your belly button in, keep your core engaged. This helps to strengthen your knee. There's no impact in this exercise. So it's good for your knee. Three, two, one. Woo. It's kind of a deceiving exercise. It seems easy. All right, toast out. Three. And squats with alternating heel raise. Let's go. Go as low as you can. Take your time. Today we're working on strength. You don't need to rush. Want to work through full range of motion with every single exercise. Feeling good. Beautiful. You are looking so good. This is day 11, can you believe it? Yeah. All right, and last one for this set, pipe push-ups. So Three, get yourself in two, one. downward dog yes. position. Let's go, driving the head towards the floor. See how low you can go before hitting the floor with your head. Control it. A 
little bit more here. Make some noise. Woo! Feeling good. Yeah. Three, two, one. Then jump your legs together. Stand up. 30 second recovery. Done with round one. Three to go. Okay, round number two. We're gonna start with hip hinges. So what are you going to do? You're going to extend your arms and legs and then work from here. If you need to hold on to something, go ahead. So first find your balance, in and out. So lots of balancing today. Extend your arms and legs. Feeling the leg that you're standing on, feeling the hamstrings, feeling the glutes. Changing sides, One. bend forward yes. first, One. or hip hinge, and then go. Take your time. Again, if you need to hold on with one side, with one arm, you can do that. Focus on your balance. Three, two, one. And time. Woo, shake it out. Exercise number two, alternating one leg squats. So, bring your feet hip width apart. Now as you come down, you're lifting one leg up. So it doesn't have to be pistol squat, you just go as low as you can. So it doesn't have to be so low at all. And then eventually, if you work consistently, you can do a pistol squat. I cannot do a pistol squat right now. If I want to, I will work on it with patience and consistency and then I will get it. Okay, keep looking at your knees. Two, one, time. Rest. All right, last one. Lay on your stomach. It's called W's because you're going to bring your arms into a W position. Raise your shoulders off the ground. Then rotate. To the side, then other side. So we just go side to side. Feet can be on the ground or you can lift your feet off the ground. That way you are contracting your glutes. But make sure whatever you're doing, make sure that your shoulders and your elbows are off the ground. Your feet, not so much, doesn't matter. Come back to the center, side to side. Working your upper back muscles. Keep your elbows lifted. Three, two, one. All right, stand up. Set number two for hip hinges. Whew. Three, two. All right, extend first. Exercise four. And then in and out. Balancing on that one leg. Looking straight ahead. Going into straight line. I just looked at you and I lost my balance. Oh, keep going.
three, two, one. Changing three, sides. Two. And let's go. Hit him. Right. Go out and in. The leg that you're standing on, keep it straight. And again, if you need to hold on, my balance a little bit worse on my left side today. So on this side, I'm going to hold on to the wall. <sighs> Lots of muscles working here. Hamstrings, glutes, lower back. One. And time. Shake it out. Pistol squats or one leg squats. Three. Future pistol squats. Let's go. So what I was saying on the last set, keep looking at your knees because as you go forward, you don't want to lead with your knees. You want to lead with your hips. Sitting back. Lift the leg up. Pistol squats are one of those exercises that are hard, just like a pull-up. So they require a lot of muscle strength, flexibility, range of motion. So just preparing for that here. Three, two, one. And time. And last one on the floor. And we have the W. So open up your hands, open up the elbows, lift up, right and left. Again, you can leave your feet down or you can lift them up. It's up to you. Try to go as far to the side as possible. So don't rush through this exercise. Keep your elbows up. If you're on the carpet, it might be a bit harder. I'm on the floor, so I'm sliding, so I can go a little bit further. Three, two, one. And stand up. All right, that was the end of round two. You are halfway, we have two more rounds to go. Have some water. Okay, next exercise. We're gonna do a side lunge. So you're gonna start with your feet together. You're going to lift the leg up to the side and then bring it over to the side and then come back. Three. So try to balance again. Again, balance it for you. Okay, knee up, step out. This leg straight. Bring it up. Out and then in. And then just go out as far as you can without overstretching your inner thighs. Be careful. You can bring your hands on your waist if you want to. Or you can move there, you can dance. You have some good music three, on. Two, one. And three together, other side. One, knee up and let's go, other side. Out and in. Suck the belly in. Keep it tight. Working on your flexibility here. But again, don't overstretch it. Growing pull is not a fun thing to have. <laughs> Always knowing your limits. That's the secret of injury prevention. Rest. Okay, and exercise number two. Reverse plank, sorry, reverse Lunge with arm raise. Let's go. So 
So try to keep your elbows as straight as you can here. Drop the back knee down as low as possible. Keeping your shoulders over your hips. And put a smile on your face. You are doing awesome work, my friend. Keep on going. Have a seat on the floor. Next exercise looks like this. Reaching to opposite three. shin or toe if you can. Exercise three. See how far you can reach. Keeping your hips up all the time and make sure your hands are pointing towards your butt, not away. Raise those hips up. Gonna feel back of your arm here, your triceps, you're working the core, lots of muscles working here. Three, two, one. All right, we go from the top, just from the side lunge, not from the very first exercise, of course. Okay, knee up. Let's go out to the side. Maybe now you're a little bit more flexible. Maybe now you can open up a little bit more. See how it feels. Almost there, 10 seconds. So today, I guess we're officially halfway through this challenge. Other side, ready? We up, let's go. Out, it's going by fast. We're gonna have to do another one after this. <laughs> Something different. Variety is the spice of life when it comes to exercise. It's always good to do different things. But that's why every day you are getting different type of workout. So your body doesn't get used to the same thing. That's how you get results. Doing different exercises every day and also prevents injury. Okay, all right, next exercise. Back lunges with a side raise. Ready, let's go. Drop that back knee down as low as you can. Tuck the belly button in, work the core. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Last one here. Okay, now we go to the floor for the alternating. Hip, sorry, three, two, a toe tap. Exercise six. And yeah, hips are up. I was thinking of the hips, that's why I said hips. Thirty seconds. Come on, finish it up. Last round, we're gonna do just core. Three moves, two sets. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one, 
All right, now if you have a mat handy, go ahead and grab it. Or you can do this on the floor. If you need longer break, pause the video, come right back. Okay, lay on the floor. Bend your left leg, keep your right arm up. We're gonna and open the leg out to the side. Come up into half Turkish lift. So pushing off your elbow, come up, push off the hand here. We're here, 30 seconds per side. So that elbow, this head, the left one should be straight all the time, close to your head. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. All right, time. Now bend your right knee. Bring your right arm up. All the side. Let's go. Up. So keeping your feet wide here. Look at your hand, that's up. Make sure it's close to your head. So you are moving it up and down. Almost like a sit up. Three, well, it is two, a sit up, just a different one, variation. Rest. Okay, next exercise. High plank position. It's called a knee tap. Okay, watch. Knee down, come back to plank. Engaging the core. You can also do a single one. Or you can do single, single, double. Make it interesting. Make it fun. Try not to move your hips. Just engage the core. Move your knees down and up. You bring the hip from side to side. Two. Let's go. Exercise three. Drop your hips to the floor as low as you can. Working the obliques. Woo! Feels good. Come all the way up. 
or at least halfway. All right? Just do your best. Come on, we're almost done. into knee taps from high plank position. Three, Single or double, two, top to you. Exit. Take plank, let's go. So you're just on your tippy toes, dropping the knee down. It seems easy, but it's not. It's again one of those deceiving kind of exercises. Keep breathing through it. Three, two, one, rest. Okay. And last exercise of today's workout, London Bridge. Three, Elbow plank. Two, one. Let's go, exercise. side to side. going. Just breathe through it. You can swear. You can scream. Whatever you do, don't stop. Just keep moving. good one. Okay. Feet together, knees together, hands underneath the shoulders. Come up, stretch your abs. Look at the ceiling. And now sit back onto your heels. Open your knees a little bit. Stretch your body out. Rest your forehead. And now come in two hands and knees. We'll do five cat stretches to stretch the lower back. Two more. And last one. Good from here. Bring your knees off the floor. Press on your heels. Stretch your calves. You can alternately lift them up and down. And now bring both hands towards your feet, bend the knees, roll yourself up, shoulders back. Woo! And we're up. Awesome work. Shoulders forward. And now just stretch your quads. As we're stretching, I'll tell you the tip of the day. Tip of the day is to be consistent. If you want results, you need to be consistent with your workouts and also with healthy eating, change sides. Of course, you can have cheat day, but consistency is the key to success. Also patience, you need to be patient with yourself. If you're not seeing results right away, it's okay, just keep going. They will come as long as you're consistent. All right, take a nice deep breath in and breathe out. One more time, breathe in, breathe out. And thank you so much for sweating with me today. And we'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Adios. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Get Fit With Gosha and like our videos.
One action. Welcome to day 11. What? It's okay. And welcome to day 11 of the 21 day fitness challenge. Okay, go. I'm turning on my watch because I need to track my progress. High intensity training. Today I didn't forget. Hi there, welcome to Get Fit with Gosha. Today I have a total body strength workout for you. Again. 